Alright guys, sorry for the back burner noise. I'm getting some water boiling. These are my ribs I have back here. They've been in the water now for two weeks, just soaking. So I'm going to take a pair out, measure where I need to bend them, and then once the water's boiling, then I'll uh, start bending. So you can see I put these little jigs in. These uh, boards here, they're just temporary, so they'll help hold my canoe shape together because all the ribs, once they're all inside the canoe, they'll push my bark and my canoe outwards. Another thing I have to do, I have to put a bunch of small planks. This is called sheathing. So I gotta put a bunch at the bottom of the canoe and around the bark everywhere. Basically just to protect my bark from uh, getting damaged when I put the ribs in. And uh, I gotta put hot water on the bark too to get it flexible. Because when the, when the ribs are gonna go in, instead of having a square shape, like uh, I have it here on the, the platform, the bark is square, right? So now it's going to take a nice rounded shape. So the hull of the canoe is going to start to take form. Big, big thanks to my friend Francois. He's not here. I've been giving him some phone calls and he's been giving me a bunch of really valuable tips. So he was saying that I don't need sheathing um, to be overlapping like in the final canoe, but I need it to be everywhere to protect my bark.
All right guys, as you can see, the ribs are all bent to the correct shape. Now I'm gonna bring this thing outside and uh, let it dry for a few days just so the ribs keep their form, keep their shape. I did a few extras here and there, but uh, I got extras too if anything uh, if anything breaks, I can bend some more. Just brought the canoe outside in the sun a little bit and the wind will accelerate the process for the drying of the ribs. Now it's really really taking shape. Now that the ribs are in, the hull is really starting to take its shape. It's really cool because you can see what kind of what kind of balance you'll have in the canoe. It's a quite narrow canoe, about 25 inches at the center for it. So it's not going to be the most 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 stable, but I think it's going to be super enjoyable to paddle. Alright, I'm almost done. I forgot to film, but here's what's happening. Alright, I'm almost done taking the ribs out. So basically what I'm doing, I mark them all at one inch here. And then this one's not finished drying because I had to replace it. It broke. So I'll leave this one in. But so all the other ones, you can see there that I marked it one inch off the gunwales so I'm cutting them and then I got a I got a mark and say which number it is and which uh, way that it goes either this way or that way in the canoe so this one I just took out goes like this so I'm gonna mark it Gonna show you guys, so I'm gonna mark it. I got a number here, so that's number nine. So I'm gonna mark it number nine. The camera is kind of a pain. So mark that right here, number nine. And then it goes on the right side, so I identified a right side and a left side on the canoe. So I'm going to put an R for right, and then I'm just putting an M in French, M is Maison. So this way is where my house is, so it goes on the house way. The canoe I won't turn around, the canoe will stay like that. So there you go. There you go, 9RM, and then I'm just cut. I got to cut them at the line and then I put them all in here this side's almost all there it's been three days now that they've been drying so they keep their shape really nicely that's the uh, side of the canoe that I'll go on this side and then I'm doing that side which is over here This cut here it's just approximate for now because later on I'll uh, have to put the exact size when I'm inserting them this is what it looks like and as you can see I'm trying to stay organized so that when I go to put them back in 
they're all going in the right way. So this is 9.8 is the one that broke. I'll leave in there to dry up another day or two. Keep, keep going. I got number one, two, three, 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 four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, so on and so forth. Eight, ten, mark this ten, R, M, eleven, R, M, twelve, M, So this is what this is what these bad boys look like now. Beauty. Bigger or smaller. So I'll leave them here for now. taking them out because for the next step I need the canoe to dry out again. I'm going to be gumming the inside of the canoe with the spruce gum and the fat mix and uh, if the boat or the bark is wet the gum doesn't stick on it as good so I'm just going to let this dry another couple days and then uh, I got spruce gum left from my last canoe, so I'll use that for the inside. Maybe I'll have to filter some more. If I do, then I'll show you. But uh, yeah, things are coming along nicely. These can just stay like that since they're dried now. They, they keep the shape. And uh, next step too, so all the sheathing. I am shaving down the sheathing that will go on the bottom. So I gotta make it all nice and flat and equal, doing that, lots of work. So this is like the sheathing, but this was just put in now temporary so that I could shape my ribs. But then I'll take all of that out, let the canoe dry, and then I gotta gum and seal everywhere here where there's a uh, basically a stitch or a hole or a crack or something then I gotta inspect the whole hull and then gum it all gotta put a bunch of gum on the inside here as well the inside of the stem that's where a lot of water usually comes in there so 